So from the 714, you, you, we're going to go down to the smallest guitar that we make. And this is the concert size. This is called our grand concert, or GC. Uh, this is anything that ends in a two. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the thinnest guitar and the smallest guitar. The other thing that's different about this guitar <clears throat> is that the scale length, so from the saddle to the nut, on this guitar is 24 and 7 eighths inches. On that guitar is 25 and a half. The difference is the scale means the strings react a little bit differently. There's a little bit more, you know, just a flexibility issue. A given length of a string at a given pitch, if you have to lengthen or shorten but keep the pitch the same, it changes the tension. That's why a Stratocaster plays different than a Les Paul for you electric players. That's why, when you, that's why when Clapton first started playing his Les Paul and he was getting all those bends and Jeff Beck's going, how are you doing that? And he goes, man, it's Les Paul. You know, and, and they're doing all these things. That's, that's what we're talking about. All right, so um, it, this guitar, more of a finger stylist's maybe dream, <laughs> even though you can do it there, it's dreamier over here, so. Yeah, so I'll f do a finger style piece on the Grand Auditorium first. <laughs> Beautiful sound, guitar, beautiful sound, but... You guys hear the difference? <clears throat> yeah? What do, you guys, what do you guys hear? Warmer? Yes, absolutely. It's, and the volume, to me, if, um, the, the higher strings, the thinner gauge strings were a little bit louder to me compared to the Grand Auditorium. But at the same time, the low end kind of dropped just a tad bit when I'm thumbing the, the woundish strings. But because of that, it's now well balanced. Because on a grand auditorium, I was hearing a lot of low end when I was thumbing it, because the thumb is the strongest finger, right? So I have to kind of adjust to that by using, by hitting it a little bit harder on my picking hand. But now I'm, since it's well balanced, I don't have to worry about, oh, I have to strike these strings stronger or harder than the lower strings. And also, it requires very little effort to get the top to move. So as you can see, I'm striking with my index finger, just brushing the strings and still getting this nice full sound. So it's a great couch guitar, or if you play with a thinner gauge, uh, thin pick, it allows you to really get that full sound without really hitting it hard. Okay? Yeah. So some people will actually say that this is the loudest guitar we make, given the energy that you give it. I'll just let that sink in, and you can choose sides later. Now, in the Grand Contra, there's two different styles. And there is a what's called a 14 fret and a 12 fret model. The 12 fret model is what I'm holding. And the difference is, is that the body shape is the same, the body dimension is the same. The, everything else is the same. The only difference here is that the neck on a 12 fret is pushed further into the body so that the body joins the neck at the 12th fret, where there it joins it at the 14th fret. 
if you look down here and you look at the distance from where the bottom of the pick guard is to the top of the bridge, you can see more, more of the spruce top, right? Can you see that difference there? All right. That shows you that what's ending up happening is that we're pushing that bridge into the larger part of the lower bout. Now, there are some companies, I won't mention any names because it doesn't matter, that when they build a 12 fret, they don't change the bracing, they don't change the body, they don't change the bridge placement. All they do is they rebuild this portion of the guitar to come up higher to hit the 12th fret so it looks like an old parlor guitar because parlor guitars were all 12 fret. All right. Well, that didn't do, in my opinion, in my feeble brain, that doesn't solve the problem. Well, not that it's a problem. It doesn't solve the issue of why have two different guitars. Because this guitar sounds totally different than that guitar because the, it activates the top in a different portion of the, the soundboard. All right? So we have, like, harmonic resonance. And as I move up, you can hear it's changing pitch. Nothing's going on up here. Here's where the action is. Okay? You're at the beach. You're in the snowstorm. Okay? Now, if I move this, since I move this bridge down here, if on that guitar it's about here, there is a difference in that resonance. So, let's listen to a 14 fret, just a little. likes the 12th fret more. Yeah, how about, <laughs> how about the 14th fret? Yes, you had a question? You like the other 14th? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not better or worse. It's, it's more of a preference. Um, it adds a little bit more of the lower mid-range warmth. So, for, yes, sir. I mean, if, if, it re if your music, your playing style and your music requires to go up high, then maybe it's better to have in two extra frets. But if you like to play down low or you don't have to go that high, then who needs that extra two frets, right? And it's better to having that extra warmth if you're playing finger style. 